Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. We have worked at the range. Nominal. 47 seconds into flight. We just heard the tail end of avionics call out nominal. Falcon 9 heading through the clouds at Cape Canaveral, powered on 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We're throttled down for passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle supersonic. We're supersonic, heading out of the Earth's atmosphere. The vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. And now the call out, we're through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As we get into the thinner areas of Earth's atmosphere, the loads are now decreasing on the Falcon 9. Now we're getting ready for chill-in of the upper stage engine. Similar to the first stage, we'll begin flowing liquid oxygen to the pumps. And we've heard the call out, MVAC D chillin has begun. Now coming up, just past two and a half minutes into flight, the nine Merlin 1D engines you see here from the ground camera will shut down. A few seconds later, the stage will separate, and then the upper stage engine will ignite to begin propelling the spacecraft to the first of two orbits for the evening. Two minutes, eight seconds into flight, trajectory looks good. Merlin engine chamber pressures look good. Coming up on shutdown. And we've heard the call out MVAC ignition. The chamber is up on power. Engine's looking good on stage two. Meanwhile, stage one is now coasting. You can just see the grid fins, the titanium grid fins on the first stage opening on the left view. First stage is now going to begin drifting down towards the drone ship. Meanwhile, we're coming up in 15 seconds on fairing separation. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Bearing separation confirmed. And a nice view, and you can hear the applause from the folks outside Mission Control here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. The two fairing halves have separated in the vacuum of space. Now, as a reminder, on this flight, the fairings do not have recovery systems. We did not put parachutes in, so there's no plan to recover the, the fairings. 